keep it real with ya Hi guys, it's your girl Brie Michelle back with another video. This is part two of my wine tasting video. I recorded one, I think like last year or something and this will be part two of it. So I recorded part two like two weeks ago, but it was an epic fail. So we are redoing it today now, right here, yes. But before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. So in today's video, I will be trying wine as well as doing my makeup so you guys will see the progress. It will go from good to bad to worse because once the drinks start kicking in, I don't know what happens. So I'm gonna just go ahead and jump into the first wine. So I learned my problem. I don't be wine tasting. I be like drinking, throwing it back. So I'm gonna pace myself today because we have a lot of wine here and all red is self for one white so i am mostly a red drinker while i'm only a red drinker i don't really care for whites and moscatos and chardonnays and give me anything red that's free okay so the first bottle i have here is one that was a gift from one of my good friends shakira hey boo um her and my brother jay gave me this for a graduation present um it's riscato and it's a sweet red and i've tried some of it already um but I'm gonna just try it again now because I think I was already drinking when I did that. So I see it's a little bubbly and y'all, I done turned into a dry wine drinker. So I don't really care for nothing that's too sweet. So yeah, it kind of like bubbled up a little bit. So yeah, it tastes like Welch's grape that you have at church. <laughs> that you have at church. But it's still pretty good. So let's just go ahead and jump into makeup. Um, we're gonna try to tame these brows, but I don't really know. There's nothing we really can do with them. My eyebrows, honey. Like, ain't enough plucking in the world. Like, I'm about to pluck this one right here. Gonna hurt too. <laughs> and then that's the thing, I don't be pulling hard enough and I like just grab it and it, oh my God, it burns so bad. So yeah, I don't know how to control these little flyaways right here without plucking them off. So we're gonna ignore it because you know what? I got an excuse. We are quarantined, okay? <laughs> I don't know how to do my own brows. So the first wine tasting video I did, part one, I reviewed a lot of um more cheap wines. So I think it was uh like ten dollars and under for that video. Um, and this one is a little bit more expensive. I think these are like ten and up. So if you have not watched that video, you definitely should go check it out on my channel. Like you need to pause this one go watch that one first and then come back and watch this one because we'll still be here if you are new to wine um you would definitely like this one like new to red wine it's really bubbly very sweet um let's see it is seven percent alcohol don't know how much it is but i will give you a price in a minute <laughs> So this wine, the Roscato wine is $11.99. So yeah, so I didn't even know how much it cost, but it fit right in with the other bottles. Um, This one is $11.99. So yeah, if you are, oops, sorry y'all. If you are new to red wine, then you will definitely um like this one, the bubbly type of taste. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into eyeshadow and I'm going to use the new palette that I got in my BoxyCharm subscription and it is Ace Butte, I think. I don't know, but we're going to go in with this, and this is what it looks like. If you guys have not checked out that video, you should definitely check it out as well. And you know what, y'all? I forgot to put promo on. I always forget to put promo on every time. So now I'm going to go in with cinnamon, this color over here. I feel like this mini got me struggling. I need a mirror. So the next one that I have is my favorite wine ever this year, and that is the Josh brand um, Red Blend. Again, this is definitely medium to dry, so if you are not on that wave yet, then you will not like Josh, but I am in love with Josh. Um, I don't know. I saw the commercial one day, and I well, I always saw the commercials and watched. Now y'all gonna 
pay attention more to the commercials when they come on but i was like you know i always see this commercial i was like let me try it and this is when i was doing the one that was an epic fail and that was the first video i tried it on and i think josh was the one that got me a little lit so i'm definitely only gonna pour a drop of this because i already know what it tastes like um so i don't have to indulge in it too bad i don't really like the mini brushes y'all all right, so for our next wine, because we are just pushing through these things, honey, I feel like I just took two shots of some hard liquor, so I'm still a little okay. I have the Apothic Crush, and this is the Smooth Red blend. So let's see, Smooth Red, it does say sweet, so that's probably like in between the spectrum as well of what I kind of like. And this one retails for $9.98, so right up in my price range. Let's see what it tastes like. Hopefully it was worth my money. All right. That might be just a tad bit drier than what I like. Like I like dry wine, but I still needed to have just a dab of sweet, like a little flavor in there. That just tastes like straight dry. So yeah this tastes like the stuff at the restaurants so now we're gonna go in with our last eyeshadow color then i can go ahead and get started on this crazy face and we're gonna go in with the brightest color jasmine we're gonna pop that in the inner tear duct so that is it for eyes i'm going to go ahead and jump into my face and i'm going to be using my fenty beauty um this is the hydrating long wear and i am in the shade 440. i'm over here talking about how i'm the dry queen and i love dry wine but that is just a little too dry for my liking so the next one that we have is another josh and this is the i don't know but the blanca kind um so this is the only white wine that i have um yeah, this is how you know I don't I remember last time I had a twist top. And I'm going to just go over my mustache because, listen, honey, just a little bit. We ain't going to take too much over her. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. It's like a dry for white wine. And Josh retails for $10.98. Um, but I'm glad I did get it though because I don't have any white wine on my bar. I gotta show you guys my bar too. I finished it. I remodeled it and everything. But I don't have any wine, white wine on my bar. Um, so it's definitely good to have for people that come over that, you know, prefer white over red. And then especially on my bar, I got like almost everything is dry. Oh my God, just this much of sweet, but everything is pretty much dry. Um, so I'm kind of glad I bought that um, wine to add to the addition. My last one, and that is Robert Mondavi. Mondavi? I don't know, but he is a private selection. Okay, excuse me. But he is a heritage red blend. And I, you know what? I didn't even check to see if like anything was sweet or dry. I just picked stuff up. Sorry. And this was actually the cheapest bottle I got. It retailed at $8.23. So that's uh, really affordable. Okay. Doesn't have that much of a sweet in it. Um, but it's not like, it's not too dry and it's not too sweet either. It's actually pretty good. And for $8.23, I'm glad that I like the cheapest bottle. So I'm definitely satisfied with this purchase. Um, and I only took one sip. Yeah, that was really, really good. That was really good. Now I'm going in with my Urban Decay setting spray. All right, guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually am less drunk than what I was the first time I tried to record this video. So that's a good thing. Makeup looks okay, I guess. I don't know. I've been off my game lately, so... Mm -hmm. I love all the wines here. Um, the only one that I probably will not repurchase is the Apothic Crush wine. 
um, which was this one. I probably will not repurchase this one. So if you are new to red wine, do not buy this one because you're not gonna like it. It's too dry. Um, and then you already know the Josh red wine was my favorite, the one that got me hooked last time. And um, but my favorite as far as new is the Robert uh, Madavi wine. This was really really good. Um, once I finish this little stuff, matter of fact, let me just go ahead. Listen, if y'all watch my quarantine video, I told you I've been drinking during this quarantine. Like, <laughs> that is all I have been doing, okay? Someone help me. Well, working as well, but drinking. So, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope this video was useful. If you are looking to try um, some new wines, some new red wines, and yeah, you know, they're uh, very affordable. You know, they were definitely under $15, so that's a good thing. Don't think I'm gonna make a part three and go up. I don't think I'm there yet. I don't know if I wanna spend $20 on a bottle of wine to share with y'all here on YouTube. I don't know. I'll think about doing a part three, but let's just settle with this part two and then part one from earlier. <laughs> but I am gonna quit rambling, like I say in every video, but I still keep rambling, but I'm for real this time. Give this video a thumbs up. Definitely don't forget to subscribe because you got... <laughs> Like, you don't watch this one. You need to go watch the uh, part one of the wine. You need to go watch my part. You need to watch all of them. So, you might as well subscribe so you get the notification. Make sure you hit the little bell button so you do get the notifications. And come back to the Brie Fam because we love you. I love you. And I need somebody to watch me. Okay? <laughs> but that is all, you guys. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.